The State Department of Education is apparently backtracking on a deal with ASU prep schools and now they want $6 million back that the school says they've already spent. And now ASU prep is filing an appeal. Kim Powell is joining us live from the newsroom. Kim, how did it all come to this? Well, ASU Prep is scrambling to find a resolution after they were slapped with a $6 million bill from the Arizona Department of Education. And now parents are wondering how this all happened and how it will impact their school. ASU Prep is scrambling to find a resolution after they were slapped with a $6 million bill from the Arizona Department of Education. And all of a sudden we get hit with the sudden news that ASU Prep and amongst all of its campuses have to pay back millions of dollars that have already been spent on education and that I'm guessing the school probably doesn't have in its coffers to turn around and cut a check to the state for that amount. The money was given to the charter school over the last three years. The last 800,000, which is supposed to be used for the rest of the school year, will no longer be distributed to any of the ASU prep campuses. Every penny that the school gets, I've seen being spent on the children that attend here. And again, it would be a great disservice to the population that it serves to take this money back. In 2015, when the legislation passed for small school weight funding, Funding, ASU Prep was exempt because they were not chartered by the Arizona Charter School Board. But in March, ASU Prep received a letter stating that because they did not meet the qualifications of having less than 600 students, they would no longer receive the funding. Fifth grader Miguel Estrada is hoping there's a way ASU Prep and the Department of Education can come up with a compromise. I think that they should try to make like a deal or something because uh, since it's a school, a lot of kids go there to get an education. So, yeah, I think that they should make some deal with the state government. Now the CEO of ASU Prep released a statement saying in part, at this time ASU Prep is focused on minimizing any impact on students, teachers and staff and working with ADE to quickly resolve this issue in order to maintain the highest quality learning environment possible for ASU Prep students and families. For now reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.